ओम ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवलम ज्ञान मूर्ति द्वंदातीत त्रिगुण रहित तस्मसादि लक्ष्यम एक विमल अचल सर्वधि साक्षीहुत भावातीत गगन सदृश सद्गुरु तम नमा ओ गुरु ब्रह्म गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ध्यान मूल गुरुमूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरुपद मंत्र मूल गुरुर्वाक्य मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा सदगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिवोहम टुडे वी आर टेकिंग द लास्ट स्टेंजा ऑफ चैप्टर सेवन थर्टी स्टेंजा दैट इज द लास्ट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ज्ञान विज्ञान योगा द लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज टेलिंग that which is knows the this is the real the totality of existence the real existence then he will become a great greatest personality not only this world but beyond the world sadhi bhutani devam mam साधि यज्ञ चये विदु प्रयाण काले ते विदुर्युक्त चेत साधिभूतादि देव मां साधि यज्ञ चये विदु प्रयाण काले ते विदु युक्त चेत ये मीन्स दोज पर्सन साधि देवम साधि भूतम इट मींस विद द ओरिजन ऑफ ऑल ओरिजिनेशन ऑफ द ऑल जीवाज साधि देवम इट मींस द ओरिजिनेशन ऑफ ऑल द the one god one god existence is the origin of all uh, and uh, and uh, adhi adhi uh, adhi yagya it means the every action become the divine practices when you knows yourself the yagya all the all your function become the yagya so cha means uh, and uh, so, uh, and uh, maam means me to me prayan kale means the time of the death api means also vidu yani knows ve means de युक्त चेतसा मीन्स ज्वाइन कॉन्सियनेस विथ मी माम मीन्स फॉर मी चो मीन्स ओनली विदु मीन्स नोज और समर्ज इन मी सो कृष्ण इज टेलिंग दो पर्सन he knows me that i am the origin of all the living beings i am the only and only one god on this world so he knows that all the yagyas all the karmas all the functions all the changes all the holy or unholy things they cannot seems without without my presence because i am the base of all nature life material everything so if the person knows like that 
he knows that I am the Atma of all the universes. He knows, even he knows in the point of his death, he can easily join me and he can, he can easily submerge me. He can get me and I can, I can get him. It is very, very precious stanza of chapter 7. I want to pray my Sadguru existence, Satchidananda Lord Krishna, who is the only and only the master of millions of the galaxies and billions of the universes. Without him, the astrologian is not possible. Without him, anything cannot be regularized by the nature. Without Him, nothing is the base to stay anything. So God, existence came on the form of Krishna and He promised to Arjuna in this stranger's first, is the, in this chapter's first stranger, he told that, Arjun, I will tell you all the secrets of the science of spirituality by the minute description. And I will open all the secrets in front of you. So Krishna is fulfill his promise he is described the secret of the science of his spirituality and now he is giving the conclusion or the abstract of chapter 7. Krishna is telling to the Arjuna, Arjuna, those person who is the honest seeker and honest servant of the master and honest practitioner of the meditation practices as the description, as the guidance, as the directives and the supervision of the master's presence. Master is not bounded by the time and the distance. If a master's disciple is sitting 8,000 or 8 eight million thousand miles away, master can care that follower, master can care that disciple and my disciple can enlighten without meeting me also. Because the guidance, the surveillance, the carefulness, the nourishment, the love stream, the waves of the divinity continuously flows to the disciples from Master. So those person is honestly do the meditation practice, he will definitely enlighten and when he enlighten, he knows very well that the supreme power of originality of the all the living beings, Adi Bhuta, it is, it, the meaning of the Adi Bhuta is the supreme power of divinity. When he say Adi Nayak, Adi Nayak it means the dictator, Adi Nayak means the supreme controller, Adi means the supreme, Bhuta means the Jiva. The supreme power of the origin of all the living beings that is called Adi Bhuta. 
So he knows that who is the Adiputa. He knows the Brahma, the existence, the God, the Satchidananda Paramatma is Adiputa. And he knows Adideva. Who is Adideva? Deva means God. Adi means Supreme. Who is the Supreme God on this earth? The Supreme God on this earth is only and only one that I tell in the beginning of every stanza, Satchidananda Paramatma. And who is the Satchidananda Paramatma? When he enlightened and he come in the Atma Sakshatkar, Atma Sakshatkar is the miraculous phenomena, it is total transformation. It is a very, very wonderful incident. So, when he come into the Atma, he can easily, easily know that only God and, God and existence is Atma and he knows the Atma. When this type of life, he belongs in the day by day and he never be a fool like the, this person of this world. He never think about the past and he never buried about the future. Because he knows the Atma and he knows the Atma is ever fresh every second. Atma even the oldest and oldest presence of existence and Atma is the in the newest and newest in the future. So, he knows the Atma is the is never old and it never in goes in the future. Atma presents at the, every time of fraction. So he called existence. Existence is existing every fraction of the time. So the real seeker always live in the in the presence. He never live in the future and he never live in the past. He never regret full for past and he, he never enthused in the future. He always stand in this moment. So, if you are asking question with me about your past, you are wasting your time and wasting my time also. If you are asking the question about the future, you are wasting your time and wasting my time also. You, you must be awake and aware in the presence. So, when that seeker, when this enlightened person awake in the presence, then all the activity, all the life, all the work, all the acti actions, they are become the holy like yajna. So the existence is the adhi yajna. Existence is the adhi yajna. He never is pure like existence and never is can presence in the present, only existence can present in the presence. And only enlightened person presence in the present. The full person, they do not present in the presence, they all presence in the future or they all presence in the past, whether they will present in the future or whether they will be presence in the past. They, they, they are fearful or worried about their future or they, they are regretting, they are sad, they are uh, thinking about the past. So if you are my real disciple, if you love me, if you like my teachings or the guidance, you must always live in the presence and the living in the presence, the very smallest method to living in the presence that is the Sakshi and some advanced stage of living in the presence that is the meditation and more advanced the living presence that is the Bhana and the 
good and nice uh, uh, stage to live in the presence that is a jagran, that is the um, enlightenment. And if you can live in the presence every time, then surely you will be become the sure supreme enlightened person and you are you can cover your conscious and unconscious and semi-consciousness, subconsciousness. So my dear friend, when that person lives like that and when that body burn to fall, the body's time is up, the body body's expiry date comes. That is called death. The death come. He always used to, he always practices, he always awaken, he, he has a, a good habit to live in presence, he live in existence, then that time he can see easily the body is going up, out and he is standing as it is, he was. So that is the condition of the moksha, that is the condition of the liberation. That is a condition of the ultimate dynamics, ultimate, ultimate object, ultimate goal, ultimate destination of a jnani, of enlightened person. So that type of yukta chitta person, they are joined. They are all energies and they are all presence in me. They only knows only me. They do not know knows Maya. They only knows me and they can get me only. A very living story is there. Once upon a time. That is a story. That is a teaching by that story. Once upon a time. the dark complained to the God of light. Dark say the light is very, very painful and criminal for me because he comes and kill me. So God called the light and asked, why are you giving the botheration to the dark? Light simply say, My God, I do not know what is the dark. It means, you are enlightened, you don't know what is the Maya. Never you know, because the Maya is the dark. And the second story, I remember, it is a disciple in the Arab country of an enlightened master. He was the servant of his master also. He goes to the market for purchasing day-to-day -day needs, goods, food, vegetable, flour, spice or edible oil soap and anything. He, he, he went to the market and he returned late. So mask, master asked, why are you returned late, my dear? He said, there was a festival in the market that is called a Mela in Hindi. And there was a person was crossing the door of the heaven the door of liberation, because the fool person, they made this type of things. So master asked, so you also cross that door, big, big gate, the gate of heaven, you, be, you also cross that gate? Uh, disciple answered, no master, I have only one gate of heaven, that is only you. So the faith like this, that disciple, is very important. 
in the field of this path. When the all knowledge of spirituality covered that person, the divine eyes open at that time and the blindness goes away and his vision is very clear. He can see the consciousness, awareness and his dark illusion both same time. When he can see the Maya and Brahma and then he know that his own soul is the soul of universes. I want to repeat. Then he knows that his own soul is the soul of all universes. There is not several soul, there is not several God and Goddess. He knows that only one God and one soul, that is one soul is God. The clarity is a very, very clear, crystal clear glass. And he knows that all the living beings, they are only seeing by the illusion, real in the reality there is nothing living beings like structure. There is only one thing that is Atma. So he knows the Adhibhuta, Adhishthana. There is nothing need to say that God and Goddess are illusion because at that time there is no need when I switch on the tube light and I put the dark on a basket and throw out. There is no need. As my tube light is on, the dark will go. So he knows that all the God and Goddess, they are all feeling without the knowing of existence. Once he knows the existence, all God and Goddess disappear. Only one God is presence, that is existence. The Brahma Vidya is the science of the repetition, so I repeating some things again and again. So he feel only one God, one divine God, presence everywhere. So he knows, he live in the buddhatva, that is the stage of buddhatva. And when he do anything, when he do any activity, when you do any act, action, that all becomes divine. I want to say at this point of the time, the Lord Krishna, He was the supreme enlightened person, He was the pure form of the existence. His every action was divine and persons they are singing and dancing on, on that stories, on this, that poems. When he blow the flutes, flute, he play on flute and make the music on the flute. Even that many, many person make the music by flutes, but nobody can make like music that Krishna make. Every person was feel a divine pleasure and divine attachment by the sound of that flute. Even the cows love the Krishna. I am telling about the divine, uh, uh, divine action of an enlightened person. The cows love the Krishna. When the Krishna call the cows, they come run. When the Krishna feel the hungriness, the cows automatically the 
cows secret the milk all the women or the girls and the boys they are friend of krishna they dance with the krishna they hug the krishna they kiss the krishna they dance round and round that is called rasa but in your opinion it can be wrong but in the krishna's action was very very adhi yagya it was divine and pure and persons they band dance with the krishna now this time also and when you go to the brindavan when you go to the mathura when you go to, to the barasana there are many devotee devotees you can find they love the krishna they feel that krishna is present there such this activity the gyani also every time feel that feel not only feel gyani knows that god is in his atma he is the god he is the he is the like krishna so sometime on the facebook a very loving person comes to me i say to him i can i can uh, i can uh, meet you uh, you can meet you in your inner krishna i will help you sometime a very very loving persons comes to me they call me you are my krishna i how can i say i am not krishna never i cannot i will say yes i am your krishna because the enlightened master is the living god on this earth i do not say like this because you are a blind person you will feel that i am a egoistic person but the every divine master is the actually living form of the god so the i am uh, describing the adhi yagya so when the krishna was eating with the friends oh what a what a moment what a moment of love they are giving food each other's mouth but you lost the love you cannot do like this so the every action of the that enlightened person becomes divine that is called adhi yagya because he knows the existence is only one because he knows only no no don't do not knows but he is living in the existence my dear friends give me the pardon i am the telling the last word of the last divine divine truth on this earth by the medium of this stanzas of the gita so sometime you will not believe on the on my word you can think you can think that it is the over description or or it you think that it is lie it is not lie when a person need light him then his dust of his feet so dust is very valuable very 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 pure and divine persons took them and put on their head <laughs> sometime i wash my master's feet and drink that water the enlighten i think that i enlighten only by the mast my master's purity of the feet when i wash the water and i drink i was enlightened only by the master the the food master eat and the rest of food i request my master please give me the rest of food so the enlightened persons every activity is the adhi yagya is the supreme divine and pure and loving and 
it it can be it can be in in light to surrender uh, surrounding persons his disciples and lovers and the seekers i remember the chaitanya mahaprabhu at this time when he was dancing in the love with the krishna the seers push in the samadhi i want to remember the maharshi arvindo nobody like intellectuality describe description of the gita arvindo is the great and great enlightened authority he was the great and great master they these are the recent master the master is kavir nanak dadu baltu buddha mahavira gorakh and my master the chain of the masters i am very grateful to this adhi yagya because the master do every activity in the favor of the disciples and the teaching of their children so my dear friend when you know adhi bhuta adhi yagya adhi deva and when you know that your existence is the existence of the universes and galaxies then you will never detach from the god god also uh, god every time live in you and you live in the god there is not two there is become one and don't care about leaving the body body is only the shell of your precious life cover body is just like a part of the soil and you are the existence in this pot the existence never die when the pot break the sky never die when the pot break the soil will submerge into the soil maya will submerge into the maya and you always alive in mortality because you are standing in the existence this is the gita's last stanza this stanza this stanza is pushing us towards the knowing of existence and light and this is called this uh, uh, chapter is called the gyana vigyana yoga because the gyana is the knowing the vigyana how to know how, what is the steps and what is the technology of the knowing of god and the yoga it means when you knows all the technology and you knows your presence and then you join forever you submerge forever you mix up with the god god and you are not two then that is called a yoga i am very grateful to you my dear friends that you are listening me with the love i am very honestly i am very thankful to you thank you very much and love you divine thank you